Fletcher Cove in Solana Beach looks like a peaceful spot. But today, it's the unlikely center of a heated debate. It's over what to do about this beachside community center perched on a bluff that overlooks the cove. If it passes, Proposition B would override city council restrictions on how often people could hold private events here. This may not seem like an especially contentious issue, but it's one that's divided this usually quiet beach community. Each side sees it not just as a discussion about the use of public space, but as a kind of power grab. Richard Moore is one of the initiative's core supporters. He objects to a city policy that restricts how often people can use the venue, how much they can drink, and how late they can stay. The proposition that we are supporting is pretty simple. It has uh, basically several requirements, one of which is that the usage of the facility be subject to the Salada Beach Municipal Code, as are the other facilities throughout the, country, uh, throughout the city here. And it has a requirement that the uh, usage of the facility conform to the California Alcoholic Beverage Control rules. Uh, those are fairly uh, straightforward rules, we think, and uh, we think it's appropriate that they be followed here. Moore says the public should be able to use the center more freely, especially since citizens helped raise hundreds of thousands of dollars to renovate it. Initiative supporters gathered more than 2,000 signatures to challenge the city's policy. But Solana Beach Deputy Mayor Lisa Hebner says the city council policy was a good compromise. She says it balanced the community's needs and eased fears about too much noise late at night and not enough parking during the day. If it were to win, God forbid, and become law and it was somebody sued us about the ambiguities, we would have to defend it, even though the council doesn't even agree with it, we would have to defend it. So it's another cost to the taxpayer. Whereas if it were a flexible use policy like it is now, the council would adjust it to adjust for litigation, clarify it so it would not be litigated. Both sides were unable to resolve the dispute over the community center, and now the issue is turned into a special election, which will cost taxpayers $200,000. Now nobody's happy. People cross the street to avoid one another. Prop B supporter Mary Jane Boyd explains how they got here. In June of 2013, the city council said they were no longer going to deal with this issue. They were not going to have a trial period for use. They were finished with it and they were not going to bring it up for discussion again. So then some of us got together and said, what can we do? We've uh, given the money, we've rebuilt the building, it's perfect and we want to be able to use it. And so that's how the initiative came forth. And tensions, which until now lurked below the surface, have come to a head. Now this scenic spot has become an ugly political battleground. Initiative opponent Alan Frisch says this has purposely been made into a wedge issue. I believe that the motivations behind the, the, the Prop B people go beyond the issues of this thing. The, if you do research, you will find that the people who are most behind, and they're in the newspapers, I will leave their names out, lost the last election. They have a very vicious attitude, a vendetta against the current council, particularly certain council members. But supporters say they just want the center to be more available to the community that helped renovate it. February 11th special election will decide the community center's fate. Whatever the outcome, whether the tensions will subside after the election, is anybody's guess. In Solana Beach, I'm Brooke Binkowski.